Here is a laptop that can do everything. And we mean literally everything. The ZenBook Pro 16X OLED shines with innovation, performance and good looks. All of which combine to create a product that's as close to perfect as it'll ever get. Let's start with the design. There's a CNC milled aluminum chassis of aerospace quality with a MIL STD 810H certification for durability. What that means in reality is that it's very durable and shows next to no flex from either the lid or the base. At 2.4 kilograms, it is a bit hefty, but at the same time, it's impressively thin with a profile of just 16.9 millimeters. Opening the lid is easy with one hand. You can also see that not only does it open, but the keyboard also pops up, opening space below it that supplies air to the cooling setup. It's called the Active Aerodynamic System Ultra, or AAS for short. While it improves the cooling, it also helps with ergonomics, lifting the keyboard by 7 degrees for more comfortable typing. The display rises up as well, to match the keyboard. Overall, it makes it so the panel sits higher, preventing you from slouching. In addition, the key travel is long and there's good feedback. Night Owls will appreciate the per-key RGB backlight, which comes with some cool effects in certain scenarios. The RGB doesn't stop there, though. Around the keyboard, there are three stripes that provide additional illumination. Through the ASUS software, you can make it so there's a red flash when your battery is low, as well as selecting different colors for when you receive an email or any other notification. There's also the NumberPad 2.0, which gives you access to a fully functioning numpad when you need it. The numpad doesn't have a conventional clicking mechanism, instead relying on a haptic motor to mimic a click. Next to it is the ASUS dial, which doesn't move like the one on the ProArt notebooks. However, its touch sensitivity is superb and still spices up your workflow. It's well integrated into the Adobe suite, so you can scroll through the timeline in Premiere or swap brushes and switch colors in Photoshop. On the top bezel, you have a full HD webcam with an IR sensor for facial recognition, as well as several other sensors, including an ambient light sensor for automatic brightness adjustment and an RGB sensor for color temperature adjustment. Both the camera and the 4-mic setup have AI software for noise reduction, providing a clearer image and speech in video calls and meetings. The port selection includes two Thunderbolt 4 ports, one USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 port and the power plug on the left. On the other side, there's an HDMI 2.1 FRL port for external displays with up to 8K resolution, an audio jack and an SD card reader. The internal screen isn't left behind though. OLED displays are the gold standard and ASUS knows it. The 4K UHD panel that we have here offers amazing visuals and crispy images thanks to the high resolution, while the 16 by 10 aspect ratio makes it just right for video editing, animation and more. It maxes out at 400 nits in SDR content and 550 nits in HDR content, which is plenty bright even for outdoor use. We also have 100% DCI-P3 coverage. This is the current digital cinema standard. Through the MyASU software, the panel can switch between sRGB and DCI-P3 gamuts while keeping colors accurate, securing a Pantone validation. There is some PWM below 94 nits. However, you can stop it with the flicker-free dimming toggle inside the app. With it, the color gets less accurate. However, it is still pretty good. If you want to improve the way the panel works, you should totally check out our display profiles, which offer benefits regardless of whether you're doing design, office work, or just want to keep your eyes healthy. We'll have them linked in the description below. Visuals are only one side of the coin, as sound is important as well. The notebook secures a six-speaker Harman Kardon setup with Dolby Atmos, with two on the front flanking the keyboard and four on the bottom panel. It works really well, providing loud audio and showing no deviations at all, regardless of which frequencies we test. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome.
With all the hardware that's here, you need a lot of juice to keep it running, so finding a 96 watt hour battery pack on the inside is appreciated. It lasts for 11 hours and 11 minutes of web browsing, or 8 hours and 20 minutes of video playback. These are great results when you factor in that the laptop is powered by a Core i9-12900H and a 95W RTX 3060. There are plenty of other options, including a Core i7-12700H, as well as two Raptor Lake CPUs, the Core i9-13900H and the i9-13905H. For graphics, the RTX 4070 and 4080 will be taking the reins in the future, as the new Ada graphics can run at lower wattages, making even the 4080 suitable for a creator laptop. Asus uses serious cooling for the ZenBook with a vapor chamber, one heat pipe and two fans. It takes good care of the processor with high clock speeds and wattages in both short and long loads. The 3060 graphics runs very well too, maximizing its 95 watt power limit. Comfort is exceptional, with a hotspot of only 37 degrees Celsius, which doesn't even reach the keyboard thanks to the AAS. To save space on the motherboard for cooling, there's up to 32 gigabytes of soldered LPDDR5 memory. For storage, you have one M.2 slot for ultra-fast Gen 4 drives. If you're curious about the disassembly process of the ZenBook Pro 16X OLED, we have a more detailed teardown video, which we'll link in the description below. With up to Core i9 and RTX 4080, an OLED HDR display, and six speakers, the ZenBook Pro 16X OLED is a complete studio workstation that feels almost too good to be true. It is setting the standard for other devices to achieve, giving you a boatload of power in a relatively compact chassis. Its only drawback is the soldered memory, but you can still order it with 32GB of RAM, and that should be enough for the years to come. If you want to get a more complete picture of the ZenBook, you can check out our full review in the description below.